What is up everybody, it's me Michael McKean coming at you with another video and today I am bringing you um, day 10, 31 days of horror and um, this movie is really such a good gem like it is such a good gem like I can't believe I've never seen this movie before so until I bought it this year but, it's not a slasher film. I know you guys are probably getting tired of seeing slashers like three times in a row. But, um, this is not a slasher. So, don't worry. <laughs> uh, if you guys aren't into slashers really, then that's okay. I love them. I love ghost films. I love sci-fi creature feature films. I love all kinds of films really um, horror films, really, um, it's, I love all kinds of subgenres of horror, I love every one of them, really, but, anyways, Lost Voyage, now, this is about, um, it's got Jude Nelson and Lance Higginson in it, A Journey into the Heart of Darkness, so, if you guys ever seen Ghost Ship, it was actually um, on last year's 31 Days of Horror I did. It's kind of like that film. Because Ghost Ship is about these ghosts on a ship that haunt the ship. And um, they just terrorize the people on the ship. And shit goes down. You know what, what it is. Same thing with this film, really. Um, it's just... It's it's a ship that goes into the the Bermuda 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 Triangle. One of the triangles most tearing the victims. The cruise ship Corona, the Corona Queen. That's what. Yeah. Suddenly emerges disappearance of more than twenty five years after learning the ship's appearance. It's it gets the best of him. There's a strange supernatural warnings of joint terrifying paranormal exploration with Dan O'Leary and Janet Gunn, David Shaw, Lance Harkinson, and team scientists in the hope of uncovering the mystery of the phenomenal once on board and Corona Queen seems to come alive as they force a horrifying unearthly forces. So it's another ghost ship film. And I love the these are some of the best ghost films. Haunting films, in my opinion. I just love... Love... Ghost films, haunting films on sh ghost... Sh like, ships. Anything ships, I love horror movies like this. And it's just... I don't know why. But it's just so creepy. Like, it's so... It's worse than a house because you're not... You're surrounded by water. Which is, there's other ways to die by getting, by being terrorized by ghosts. You know? This is the Bermuda Triangle now. So you know the stories of that shit. So, but it's such a good film. It's 10 out of 10, definitely. Um, it's, it's so good. It's just as good as Ghost Ship, if not better. Um, a uh, Ghost Ship's a really good movie. Um, they're actually kind of tied, to be honest. I just can't pick one over the other. I love Ghost Ship. I love um, this movie, Lost Voyage. Um, we don't get too many of these films. We really don't. Um, I wish they would make a lot more. Um, they're they're coming out with a movie. Um, they're supposed to. It's called Queen Mary. An actual real haunted ghost ship. Corona might be real too. A haunted ghost ship. But, um... Anyways... Um... The fuck? Oh, my brother texted me. Anyways... Um... Yeah, so it's... It's called the Queen Mary. And it's about, you know, these... Filmmakers. I think it's a found footage film coming up. And they explore the Queen Mary, and then, you know, ghosts happen and stuff. I think it was supposed to come out in 2021. It got delayed because, you know, the pandemic. 
can't really say it on here. Um, and then I, then I thought it was to come out this year. And then again, I didn't see nothing about it. So maybe next year, if not next year, it's gotta be 2024. Cause there's already the directors. I think the producers, it's already, they're already here and they're already working on it. So, I mean, anyways, guys, that was lost voyage 10 out of 10 film. Highly recommend you watch it or get the DVD. Um, please like and subscribe for more. Next one's coming up. Peace.